In this video, we'll be finding the derivatives of transcendental functions. Those are basically non-polynomial functions. Examples include trigonometric, exponential, and logarithmic functions. The table below shows the derivatives of some common transcendental functions. And these are going to be derivatives that we ultimately kind of memorize and we use throughout our work on derivatives. On the left here, we have all the derivatives of the six trig functions. So the derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. And of course, with the x values in there. Derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. Derivative of secant is secant tangent. And derivative of cota uh, cotangent is negative cosecant squared. One thing that you could use to help you remember the derivatives here is that if the function you're taking the derivative of starts with a C, so cosine, cosecant, cotangent, the derivative is always going to be negative. So that can at least help you remember when is the derivative negative or positive. On the right, we have derivatives of exponential and log functions. So the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. The derivative of a to the x, where a is maybe, let's say, 2, okay, some number, um, is a to the x ln of a. These two really go hand in hand because I said a is some number. Well, e is some number. If I follow that same logic here, that would mean the derivative of e to the x is e to the x ln of e. This is absolutely true, but the ln of e is equal to 1, and that's why we say the derivative of e to the x is just itself. Okay, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and the derivative of log base a of x is 1 over x ln of a. Again, if you remember, ln of x is the same as log base e of x. So if I apply the same logic that I see here, I would get that the derivative is 1 over x ln of e but ln of e is 1, and that's why we have this shortcut here. All right, so let's practice finding some derivatives. Through this, what I would do in this video, I'm not going to scroll back and forth. What I would do is have all of these 10 derivatives written down somewhere or screenshot this if you're on an iPad or phone watching, and then refer to them as we find the derivatives because ultimately it is about memorization and kind of substituting in the derivatives when applicable. So for number one, f of x equals 2 sine x. The derivative is simply 2 cosine x. We're just going to keep that coefficient. Since the derivative of sine is cosine, we replace it. Okay, It's not multiplying by it. We're just replacing. Number two, the derivative of 3 to the x, or g of x equals 3 to the x, is going to be 3 to the x times ln of 3. Number three, the derivative of tangent x plus cosine x. Find each derivative individually. Derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. The derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. And once you do this replacement, you're basically done. Okay. Number four, the derivative of ln of x plus 7x is 1 over x. And we've previously learned power rule. The derivative of 7x is simply 7. Number five, this one is straight from our kind of like reference sheet before. The derivative of e to the x is itself. Number six, the derivative of negative cosecant x. Okay, so let's just copy over the negative for a second. The derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. But since we had that negative in front, let's simplify that so it ultimately does become a positive here. Number seven, the derivative of sine x plus x squared. The derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of x squared, we've learned, is 2x by the power rule. Number eight is a little tricky because it looks like we have x to the fifth. If you remember when you have learned log rules in the past, this five can be brought down in front. So we're really asked to take the derivative of five ln x. So that derivative would be 5 
times the derivative of ln x or 1 over x. And we could also simplify that as 5 over x. Number 9, the derivative of cotangent x plus 4x cubed minus 7x plus 2. Okay, well, the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. And I can find the remaining derivatives by using the power rule. Keep in mind that the derivative of 2 is just 0 since 2 is a constant. Number 10, derivative of 2 to the x plus x squared is 2 to the x ln of 2 plus 2x. All right, just a couple more here. Number 11, the derivative of 4 secant x plus pi x. The derivative of secant is secant tangent. The derivative of pi x is simply pi. That is our coefficient, and we're just going to copy that over. And for our last one here, the derivative of negative sine x minus cosine x. So I'm going to just copy this negative over. The derivative of sine is cosine. I'm going to copy that minus. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then let's just clean this up a little bit here. So I have negative cosine x plus sine x as our derivative. So you can really see here that the key to being successful with these questions is knowing those 10 derivative rules that were given at the beginning of the video.